virtual AEC reference and delay compensation. When using the PC output to feed display speakers, Schur has found that some display speakers introduce a great deal of latency into the system, which can cause issues with echo cancellation. To remove this latency, we're going to generate a virtual AEC reference. In our example, we're going to use Dante Output 1 and call it Virtual AEC Reference. With this virtual AEC reference, we're going to send the same signal that is being sent to the display speakers to the reference. Ensure this is done within the matrix mixer. In the matrix mixer, you'll take your virtual audio input and send it to Dante Output 1, which for this demo we've renamed as Virtual AEC Reference. In order to compensate for the latency, you will delay this virtual AEC reference. Sure recommends you start with 100 milliseconds of delay. One very important step is to ensure that your echo cancellation reference is set to the virtual AEC reference as opposed to the virtual audio input that is set by default. Now you must verify this latency figure by observing from the far end. The best way is to make a call to a far end participant and have that person listen to the audio coming from your room, especially high frequency sounds like ps or s, that will often cause echoes at the far end. You can adjust the delay in increments of 50 milliseconds until you find the right amount for your room that makes your system sound the best that it can.